Hi guys, um, it's just Cathy from Cuts and Scruffs. I'm just checking in, hoping everyone's doing okay uh, with the lockdown. Also, um, everyone's doing okay that's still out there on the front line. Well done everyone, and I hope you're all staying in and staying safe. Just thought I'd check in and do a video with you guys, just to introduce you, uh, this is Gwen. So I'm just gonna do some tips today about um, bathing hairless cats or dogs, um, if you've got any of those at home. If you have, I would love to meet them. Um, so Sphinx are one of the most, I'd say, lovable breeds and they can be incredibly loyal, but for that they can be very high maintenance. So since they don't have any fur um, on them at all, um, they don't have anything to protect them from the outside elements. Uh, stop shaking, Gwen, you're fine. <laughs> Gwen's just making a, a mountain out of a roll hill because she knows she's going in the bath. Um, so because of this, they need weekly baths um, because the fur normally helps separate the oils um, and the sweat from the skin. Um, and because Gwen doesn't have any... Um, of that it kind of stays on the skin um, I kind of say it's a bit like a, um, a false tan so in all the places under here she will get like a brownie residue and that can come off on any like bedding or anywhere that she sits a lot um, so for that yeah they need weekly bathing just to make sure their skin is maintained um, because they can be prone to acne breakouts, um, blackheads, anything like that because obviously the outside elements they get into the skin and um, there's nothing to protect it. Um, so to maintain a healthy, healthy sorry, and happy skin I use um, a medicated sensitive shampoo which I'm sorry you can't see it very well but I've just mixed it all into the bath here. Um, anything without any strong scents because you can imagine she's got no fur so she's going to be licking herself straight afterwards and that's not going to taste very nice for her on her skin um, so yeah I'm going to put her in I apologize if there's any noise um, this is usual she's not in any discomfort she's just being a highly strong sphinx <laughs> okay so we're just going to pop her in I normally put the water up to about her um, armpits just because it makes them feel a bit more safe again I'm only going to do this quickly because they're not she's not the biggest fan so I'm just making sure I get into all those underneath places like the armpits in between the groin and around the bottom area um, just rubbing all those bubbles in nicely um, separately I do do her ears Again, because they've got no fur in the ears, um, they get a lot, and I mean a lot, of build-up in the ears. So they're known for very, very waxy ears. Um, so I normally just get a bit of ear cleaner on a little cotton bud. Um, not cotton bud, so I was going to say you don't want to be putting cotton buds in there. So a little bit of ear cleaner on a cotton ball and just gently go around the outside of the ear here. If there is a lot more build-up than usual, obviously you can get specialist drops, but I would speak to your vet about that. Um, so Sphinx as well, they're very vulnerable um, to the hot and cold elements. Um, that's why they're very, very cuddly animals, because they really like your body heat. Oh, do you want some bubbles? Oh, she's got a bubble hat now. <laughs> um, so in winter, I provide a lot of throws. Obviously, the radiator is always set to a decent temperature. Um, a lot of radiator beds. She loves the radiator, but you've got to make sure they're covered because they don't realise how hot they are. They will very easily get burnt. So you need to make sure that you've kind of installed that safety by the radiator. Um, she does have little jumpers. Not a lot of Sphinx, well... Some of the Sphinx I've had have loved jumpers, some haven't, so you've just got to take it as it is. If you put one on and they don't like it, obviously please don't leave that on them because they're not going to be very happy cats. Um, I'm just getting around all these inside areas here. She doesn't stay in long. This is a warm, lukewarm bath, not a hot bath, again, because you don't want to over-sensitise the uh, skin, if that's even a word. 
Um, so just getting all these last bits drawn, wet under here, and around the bum bum gwen. And you can't see it, but the colour of the water that's coming off and splashing on the bath is disgusting. Um, obviously in lockdown she's been doing a lot of sleeping on me, so she's been producing more sweat and more dirties. So I'm just going to get her out. Two seconds. Oh, I know. Are you grumpy because everyone's watching your back? Yeah. Here we go, nice and clean. So you want to make sure they're completely dry, all the shampoo and everything is off them because um, once that dries in you don't want that aggravating the skin. Um, oh and I spoke about winter, also in summer obviously um, they can overheat super quickly. They are proper sun worshippers, obviously they don't go outside unless they're on a lead or harness. Um, so they do like to lie in a sun trap through the window, in the conservatories, etc. So I've got some pet safe sun cream. Um, I don't use it as much on her because she's dark, but my old Sphinx was white. She looked pink, like skin coloured. Obviously they're very prone to skin cancers and leukemia and that kind of thing. So, but I do use it on the more sensitive parts on Gwen or if it's really, really hot and sunny and she's been there for ages, um, aren't they? And also a little bit of a fact, they have um, faster metabolism than other breeds just to keep them warm. So where are you going? You're not going yet, we're not done. Don't look so upset with me. Look, look at her ears. Um, so they have faster metabolism than other breeds, so they will eat more regularly and a bit more just to keep them warm. And you're not shivering. Behave. Um, so they do need to be fed more frequently than um, other cats. Okay. I'm going to do your ears off camera because she's not a fan of that. But again, we don't put any cotton buds or anything in their ears. So we don't want anything going down into the ear canal. We just want to do the outside bit here with a cotton ball. And um, I also do her nails <laughs> regularly as well. I'm going to give you a treat now if you're good. Look, what's this? Where you go? Hold on. This isn't bad. This is not good publicity, is it? Here we go, what's this? Oh, do you want this? What's this, Gwen? What a treaty. She likes these. So, come here, show everybody your treat you like, yeah? Oh yeah. You want a treat it? You going to eat it? Gwen says, thanks for watching, and sorry she's moody. This is a typical female sphinx. The males seem to be a bit more loving. Oh yeah, she said, I'll take the treat though, so I'm not that stressed. Um, and stay safe everyone, and we hope to see you all soon in salon. Okay.